hi hello guys this is a new colleague once again and today we'll be talking about ai standard material from hanot renderer so um it's material that comes with the anode so um before i start today's um, tutorial i want to say big thank you to the uh, my new subscribers thank you so much for your love i think i kind of need the love so thank you so much for subscribing to the channel now let us get on to business so yes you need to know one thing about ai standard material it works like um this metal um mere material underscore x like you can um it can simulate pretty much any material talk of wood plastic glass or metal any material at all and this is wonderful also you can add a texture to the material also now this um the scene i have this is the ball i created a while ago so let's go to hypershade to start the business so this is the hypershade now so so um these um this viewport you can display it by just going to windows and window and you see the viewport so we can add the rendering also and let's take it to or here yeah leave it all bring it up or render view take it on here so we can toggle from the render to the viewport so that is how that one would work so let's be using ipr rendering PR rendering mode so that is her over there so whenever we change um work on something we can easily see the result over here using the ipr and don't worry about the um the size this is just to um avoid wasting time on rendering so um let's me select the viewport and probably let's um me press five over here and six for the texture so that we can see our texture why is it not showing we can duplicate this let me duplicate this rendering and rendering. just render once once and for all render it once and for all yeah so we have the turbo over there i think that light is not enough we can get more light so let's create a, a point light um rendering and this is the point light and bring it up like so you can bring it to this side probably duplicate it and um, go to the light um, yeah the attribute editor and open that up and create increase the intensity take it to like um, 100 for the both lights 100 so let's see what we have over here yeah that's pretty much what i'm looking for but that light is too much the intensity is too much we can take it to about 50 and or even so um let me reduce the intensity for this other one um this one also this one intensity to something like so and let's see yeah i think we have it over here um you need to know that the um the texture over here is on ai standard material so let me select this and give it um lambert so that we can start from the beginning so we have lambert for the other one now let's go to this place and We can go to new document, create new, and go to sheet under Arnold. Just click on shader. You see um, this one AI standard. So click it. Here we have it. So just click on AI standard to and go to the diffused. Under the diffused, click on color displays and click on file. Just uh, pretty much the same thing like um, the other um surface material 
just had a bit to um, this and where is this? Where did I save this? Um, let's go to desktop. I think that's where I keep it. Ball is that no? As a texture mapping, um, reference images. So yeah, yeah. Let me select this one. There we have it there. What is wrong with okay? Bring it and to this side. So we can have it over here since it's it's not showing over here. So let's see this. Now um we have the one with texture and one with no texture. So all I need to do now is move this thing take this one um let's let me scale this down so i have a file over here so let's click this that is the standard material that we need so middle mouse click and drop it on this one and there we have it over here so um that is it now let's go to the color actually um we have the color over here and since we've um we are now using a uh, file it is the texture to the texture file so this will not be on again so this um, arrow here shows some sort of connection with some other things some other nodes so we have the weight we can um the weight is the um, rate at which we see the color like the rate at which a, a particular object send the color you know definitely if there is no light there is no color so the rate at which it send all colors back to us is the weight. So if you increase it, then you see pretty much every color that the light projects onto the object. But in the real life, there is no way we can receive all the color from an, a particular object. So we need like probably 70% or 80% of it. Let's use 70% of the of the um, color that the light sent back to us so here we have it here it's um the roughness um definitely it reduced the um reflection that we see on the object it's more or less like um we it's like you are seeing a um like a powder um stuff like you know normally we have this is a ball and this is not real, uh, real at all unless the ball has uh, had faced a lot of um, challenges in its life if it has been played for a very long time and it's no more reflecting so to have the reflection we need to reduce the roughness take it down so we have the full reflection so the backlight it's like you see the light just like um how can i put it ha oh, god i hate english um when you see um a light like um, a translucent object it converts when you increase the light, the backlight, it converts. Like you're seeing a, um, a light is being reflected a little bit. You can see a light through an object, like more or less an opaque. You're reducing the opacity of uh, that object. So that is the backlight. The backlight, actually, when you if you increase it very well, you'll be seeing the object, uh, the light that is at the back of the object, a little bit of that light. So it's more or less like um, the transparent or translucent sort of. So let's reduce it back and let's go to um, spe specular. So the specular, it's it's kind of works like a, a reflection, but not really a reflection. So if you uh, reduce the roughness of this, you see that that object. Let's increase the weight of the specular. And you see what happens that it's it reflects a lot like you can see the reflection of the lights maybe probably the one coming um, from the back of the camera here and the one at the back over here just because we increased the weight so let's take it back and you see the results here this reduce this uh, specular of um, this place reduce and uh, I think I increased the weight so actually all these things we can still see it here so the roughness here on this specular and the diffuse is pretty much the same thing all roughness do is 
re um, reduce or remove totally all the reflection on uh, an object so that is what it does so as you can see as i reduce the roughness you can see some specular or reflection sort of reflecting the light from this place the same thing here so if i reduce it totally then you can see a full um, reflection over here so that is that on the specular at that point so let's go to reflection like i said here we have we only have the weight so there is not um, need for the roughness since it's a reflection so roughness will only reduce the reflectivity of um, a particular object so if i increase the, the weight ha ha god see this see the kind of um, reflection we have over here just by increasing these and we have a lot of reflection over here and over here and that is the work for that one so um we have the we can hone this actually because when we are talking of lights actually i'm a physics student when you talk of light you always refer to um if i can still remember we talked about we were taught um um optics when i was in um, part three in my school and optics see, but i don't you but i didn't understand a such um, thing or i know that woman will always talk about fresno um, fresno you're talking about reflection or refraction so you can hone it if you are dealing with your reflection just put it on as you can see over there so so here we have refraction here refraction like you know it's it's um just talking about um transparency when you're talking about glass or water or even air uh, like you can see over here we have the um the weight let me increase the weight and you can see what would happen so what am i saying can i see through that yes i need to go to specular or even the views and the remove all the weights yeah so pretty pretty much like this and um because we don't need color if you're talking about reflectivity um refraction something to you see through the object so um here we are talking about uh i've increased the weight though so let me hold the first name and here we are talking about um glass so let's make glass so if it's going to be glass then it's probably will be 1.5 i think so so um going down still yeah we have let me we still see something here let's click on that object this object and go to the attribute editor for that object and look for anode and here we can remove the opaque because this is an opaque then we will probably um, definitely will not be seen through it so we need to remove this so that we can see through it if that works let's see what happens here um here this is it now it's more or less a glass but still something is still wrong with this thing here so we need to go to um what can we still do about this okay let's go to the refraction again and the opacity let's reduce the opacity a little bit and see what would happen over there yes now we are <laughs> seems you are seeing a diamond over here yes a diamond ball ho, ho, ho. so um let's see um let me go to Let's go to this place and see if we can get some things over there. Um, this. Let's on. Come on or go to this place. Let's create an environment. So you can create an environment under um another render. Just go here and you have um create a sky shader and. There we have the sky shader here. But see the changes. This is a drastic changes over here. So we can go to to add. You can add uh, actually HDR to this to this um, 
shader at the back this I, I um AI sky just click on it actually it's clicked and let's check no, no that's not what I'm looking for yeah so this is the sky attribute and we can add a material to it I think I have um I have an HDR yeah this is a parking lot HDR let's use this one yeah now bring this back on so it is not rendering so that is pretty much all we need um, to know about that this is still having the um we still have the specular thing the specular is still on let me take this back on and um, probably bring this um this one so the specular is still on let's see um the diffused <clears throat> so actually we can change the color refractive color the refraction color we can change that to something like that so that we can see the, the shadow that it will cast on the table so uh, that is that is it i think that is all we need to do so um i hope you guys like this like comment and share with friends and um subscribe i kind of need the support guys i need your support so this is what i have after a long rendering time so if i press it here you can see that i still have my shadows and a reflection but still this thing something is definitely wrong with this thing so um let's see what we can do from the rendering setting or the render setting going to this place so i increased the refraction and this after increasing the opacity and i think now we have a very cool um reflective so i say we shall be meeting again in peace and not in pieces bye bye